welcome today in this viewer edit I'm gonna take this unedited JPEG file and I'm gonna turn it into this folder while of course explaining every single step I do and I'm really gonna try to bring out some color some nice exposure and really create some interest so first up let me of course bring up the shadows and I don't think there are many pictures where that has such a huge impact as in this one and I'm also going to bring down the highlights and you see already it's a much better picture but before I do anything else I'm definitely going to crop the picture because uh, this thing right here is definitely very distracting and I'm actually gonna bring down some of that sky as well and I think that crop looks a lot better then in terms of the exposure I think overall exposure is just fine it's a little bit on the darker side but uh, I think it actually works for this overall mood you know it's a nice differentiation from the background to the foreground being in sort of shadow then let's go to the blacks and I really don't think I'm gonna bring them down actually I'm gonna bring them up so I can bring the contrast slider to the right even more and that way we really get a nice punch to the picture uh, also another thing that is of course very important to add additional interest in the photo is to bring the whites to the right and I think that works really well another thing that is completely off with this photo is definitely the color temperature and I'm gonna warm up the entire scene here just something like that and you see it's a huge difference from before to after just looks a lot more pleasant and while I'm at it I'm just gonna bring the tin slider a little bit to the right to get rid of this green cast so let's finish up with the rest of these basic adjustments I definitely do not want to add any clarity globally instead I'm just gonna grab an adjustment brush and add a little bit of clarity here and I'm gonna press O so you actually see where I draw I'm just gonna go over some spots that I think could use some clarity and just increase the amount of clarity in those areas so really love local adjustments and if you see before after it's a very subtle difference but in these areas I really think it works so then um, vibrance would be the last thing but I don't really think I have to add any global vibrance because the picture it's just not needed uh, instead I'm going to go to the HSL tool and go just to the saturation and drag it over these trees in the forest and just bring down some of these orange and yellow tones and I think that you know is a little bit more balanced from before to after it really was just a little bit too much orange and yellows then I'm gonna go to the tonal curve of course and just play around with these sliders always very important is to just look at the actual effect it has not the exposure you know if I bring up the highlight slider here the sky becomes overexposed but this is always very very easily fixable uh, the most important thing is just to get a nice dynamic and interest in your picture so I'm just gonna bring that up to where it looks good and the rest of these sliders also just gonna play around with them and let them wherever they look best in terms of dynamic and not really care about the exposure just now because once you're done with these adjustments you can always grab for example a graduated filter over just the left portion of the sky and bring down the exposure a little bit to just uh, even out the exposure once again so actually I think this house here in the background is still way too bright so I'm actually just gonna grab a very small adjustment brush for that place and just bring down the exposure here a thing that I generally like to do is just to add a little bit too much and then press down the alt key and get a minus adjustment brush and just paint over the edges I found that to work really really well so here I think that it might be still a little bit too much but yeah this definitely works better from before to after 
So let's zoom back out again and let's see what else am I gonna do in terms of global adjustments. And I could try to, you know, usually I like to add uh, split toning in the highlights, but because this picture, you know, is in shadow and there really aren't that many highlights, I think I might even try to go into the shadows and just go through all of these colors here and maybe even here you could by the way get the sort of an Instagram effect but I don't really like that. I'm rather gonna just warmen up the, the shadow portions of this picture really just a little bit and from here before to after I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it after video compression but it's a little bit of a difference and it makes everything even a bit more pleasant. So detail tool is something that I usually leave out for my viewer edits, since of course these edits are just about the overall looks. But because I brought up the shadows and the black so much, uh, we really have a lot of noise and a lot of purple and green sensor noise as well, so I'm just gonna try to fix that by bringing up the color noise reduction slider and you see how this entire portion looks a lot cleaner from before to after really really amazing what the slider does in terms of noise reduction itself i don't even think it's really necessary there is definitely some noise but overall i'd rather have the detail than less detail and just a little bit less noise sometimes it actually works to give the picture a little bit of a character by having just a little bit of noise. Of course, if you have everything full with noise, you're gonna have to add a little bit of noise reduction, but here I really don't think it's needed. And I think, you know, for the overall look, maybe I'm just gonna try to get a little bit of vignetting going. I think that works actually really good, especially in the bottom portion, but also in the sky and I'm just gonna add a little bit here from before to after. Really makes the center a bit more interesting and a little bit more prominent. So I think I'm done in terms of the global adjustments. So now I'm definitely gonna add quite a few local adjustments. First thing I'm gonna do is add some additional vignetting over just the bottom of the picture and maybe even bring down the saturation for that portion since the, uh, the saturation seems to increase a little bit by bringing down the exposure. So this is really a small adjustment from before to after, but it once again helps to give more attention towards the center. Also, I'm going to add a filter over pretty much the entire right portion here and really wanna make sure that I also include the sky and then I'm gonna go a little bit into the negative exposure and grab another graduated filter over this part and go into the plus exposure just a little bit to add some additional interest. Now it might seem a little bit weird that I've previously added minus exposure to the sky and now I'm adding plus exposure over the left side, but that really is, you know, very different since I really just add a little bit of plus exposure and you see the negative exposure in just the sky here here is a lot more. So overall, even though it may seem a little bit weird, it can actually work to go minus exposure for a small portion and then go plus exposure for a little bit of a bigger portion. So let's just quickly see before any crash rated filters and here's after. I definitely think that the negative exposure gives sort of a color shift in the sky that I don't really like. So I'm just gonna grab an adjustment brush and once again press down O so you actually see what I'm doing here. And I'm just painting over these portions uh, where the color starts to change in the sky. And then I'm just kind of trying to get rid of that color cast. I think it really was just a bit too much green. So I'm just gonna bring the tint slider to the right. And I mean, the graduation is not perfect here. You see the right portion of the sky looks pretty unnatural. And I think that is a result of the JPEG file. I really don't think you would have that with a raw file, but I am just going to grab an adjustment brush and go into the plus exposure for this part. I kind of like the differentiation from the right part in the sky being a little bit darker, but since it's really looking unnatural, 
actual with this JPEG file, I really have to kind of remove it and I think that looks a little bit more natural. Of course you could do a lot more fine adjustments and zoom in and everything if you would edit this picture for yourself. So then I'm gonna add some custom vignetting with the adjustment brush and I'm just gonna go a little bit into the negative exposure and then I'm just gonna grab a very big adjustment brush and go over some portions here. I'm actually gonna press O again so you don't see the mask and maybe add a little bit of negative exposure over the left as well and you know just fine tune it even add another one over just a very very dry part to add even another layer of exposure and yeah I think that actually works really well so then I'm actually gonna grab even another adjustment brush but this time just leave the exposure at zero and go a little bit into the blues and the reason I'm doing that is because I think that water looks a little bit too grayish so I'm just gonna add a little bit of blues here and maybe even bring the tint a bit to the right and add a little bit of additional blues here in the color tool. You definitely don't want to do it something like that otherwise you're gonna ruin your picture but just adding a few percentages can sometimes help. So let's see before that one adjustment brush and here is after the water really looks a little bit more inviting. So then I think we're nearing the end. Is there anything else I want to do before the dodge and burning? And honestly, I really don't think there is. So let's grab a radial filter, of course, and go into the plus exposure first. And I'm just gonna go with the lighting scheme here. Uh, of course, the lighting is coming from the left. So I just wanna make, you know, simulate how it would look if the light would hit some of these areas and just complexify and add a little bit more interest to the overall exposure. So you just wanna go ahead and see where it looks good. And you know, just think where is the light already hitting? Where do you wanna enhance that look? And where is it just a little bit too dark and a little bit too boring? And where do you wanna add some additional interest? By the way, let me know if you like to see me do this dodge and burning or if you would like me to just uh, speed up this footage and make everything more compact since I don't really think it's too interesting seeing me drag around filters. So I think I'm done with the plus exposure. Let's just quickly see before, after. And now I'm gonna add some negative exposure filters. Negative exposure filters can be sometimes even more valuable, especially in relatively dark pictures, since you really can create a lot of additional contrast and with that interest and really make your picture look dramatic with these negative exposure filters. So let me finish that up here. Maybe just make some parts here even darker. Right click duplicate of course and yeah I think overall I'm pretty much done here. So let's see before any dodge and burning now and here is after. Just looks a little bit more interesting and you know there are a lot of different things you could do. You could go way more in depth and really spend a lot of time with it. Try to create different patterns and all of that stuff but I'm just gonna keep it relatively simple for the video. Um, I might just make this entire house wall a bit darker because I think that would work a lot better for the overall lighting. So I think I am done here with the overall picture actually. And you could definitely go into black and white here, but I really like the color a lot better because there's an additional element of separation through the color. And I think it just works better for this picture. So let's go here into the history and see where we started at. And from the before to after, I think it's a very, very big difference. 
of course you could always try to add even more dynamic and even more differentiation in terms of the lighting in your photo and make everything even more dramatic but overall i really think that the picture works at least a lot better than before there is one little thing that i haven't even really noticed until i stopped recording and that is the whole sky has sort of a green tint so i'm just gonna really quick fix that by bringing a graduated filter over the sky and of course bring the tint slider into the magenta and make everything look a little bit more natural and I think it looks a lot better that way and maybe even the left part needs another graduated filter uh, because there is even more green tint so yeah I think that definitely fixed it and overall I like it a bit better also a thing that I wanted to mention is that the overall exposure is almost just a hint too bright so I'm just gonna bring down the global uh, exposure here by not even a fifth of a stop but yeah I just wanted to mention these two little adjustments be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.